Hi, and welcome to my OLAT account. On this Hardcore Iron Man, I must train all stats one level at a time. The first big goal is, as with every account that I make, to get max available quest points. This is my journey to Questcape. Oh my god, it happened. Oh my god, it happened. Before it spawns, please. Oh my god, this took me like, what, three hours or so? I've heard worse, much, much worse from people, but yes, 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 finally. Right, Jade, it is. Goodbye. Cowtuba, this should be the final one. Oh my god, finally. I can continue with the other ones. This is gonna be costing me a lot of mining experience, but after like a couple of months of having four out of five houses at 100%, let's go for 100% Lova Kench favor. Since I've unlocked Blast Furnace, I can basically buy 99 smithing anyway, as long as I have enough money. But I guess it's time to bite the bullet and finally get that final 100% favor. So I'm finally done with getting the 100% favors in everything. How do you call this? Superstition? Thinking that the spider will do something to help block like block the clouds? But no. Doesn't work like at all. It might work, might do something, I have no idea. I don't really see that much difference, but if it does do something then yeah. It doesn't hurt doing this, so why not, eh? Nice, this quest was basically like four puzzles and that was it. Cool, mining smith XP, which was basically nothing, but the reason why I did this was to put this in the book. Also, obviously, to read this. To get 100% favor, reminiscence, teleport to Lovakench, and this will have ah, finally the medium task done. Right, one more quest to do. Honestly, I didn't really want to complete this quest because this quest unlocks the Brian Red Slayer tasks. But yeah, this was needed for the final medium diary. 20,000 coins, very nice. I'm pretty rich now. Anyway, let's go claim the rewards. And that's gonna be the best one, I suppose. This one has like really good rewards. I'm definitely gonna be wearing the Rados Blessing whenever I'm gonna be fishing some more Karam ones. Not really needed to be honest because they only provide 50 XP each anyway. Also some teleports to the current woodland is very helpful because there are absolutely none there whatsoever. So I got a bunch of lamps, now as you can see there's one remaining, uh, ignore the wilderness that does not exist. The western provinces, once again I will need to kill some more chompies and to be able to spawn two, or at least 25% chance to spawn two, I needed to have the easy diary completed first. So that is the next thing I am going to be doing. So, but first as you can see, since I want to equalize my hit points, I'm gonna be spending everything on Slayer. This means that I don't need to spend my common experience on getting Slayer experience and I can spend my common experience on literally anything I want. Which basically means that I can train my combat using methods that do not provide any hit point experience. There we go, I ran out of lamps, 69 Slayer, doesn't look too good. Anyway, let's get 100 extra champion kills for an extra 7.5k Slayer XP. And there we go, that are 125 kills, chompy kills for now. It's gonna be a while before I'm gonna be doing like all the hard diaries. So, the final lamp, once again on Slayer, confirm, very nice, look at that. No, not the last one. Alright, that is Slayer done. Let's now train some combat using methods that does not get me any hit points experience. So we can finally equalize those hit points. Now before training my combat stats, I do want to get one weapon upgrade, which is unlocked at 69 Fletching. 
Therefore, I will need to get some rune limbs. And those aren't really too easy to get. I don't really want to get any hit point experience from killing steel dragons, so hopefully I'm just going to be testing if I can kill them solely by using a cannon. If not, then I can't really cannon trolls because they have 200 ranged defense, but if I check the defense of steel dragons for a second, then their defense is only 90. That's like half of a regular troll. I think that should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to test that out. Hopefully it will work out. It is currently a drop rate of 1 in 16. Shouldn't be too bad in my opinion. I have already 69 Herblow, which unlocks Dragonfire, Anti-Dragon Fire Breath. So everything is kind of coming together. 69 Herblow for the potion, 69 Fletching for the Rune Limbs. I think the universe is telling me to get that crossbow. Holy shit, yes, 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 finally. I got them, right? I got them, right? Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, finally. It was kinda on drop rate, it seems. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yes, uh, let's get out of here. Wow, nice. So if we quickly see the loot tracker, I killed 11 iron dragons and 8 steel dragons. So I think I'm still a below drop rate, but holy shit, like this steel dragon. This took me literally almost a hundred cannonballs. Like it seems I can hit twice as much on an iron dragon compared to a steel dragon. I still have almost 10k left and I still need to do all my smithing XP. First let's make and upgrade my crossbow though. So uh, first knife on this to make a stock, then the hammer on this I think. Yes, I'm done. Awesome rune crossbow. Very nice, very nice. This will make the accuracy of my cannon much better for when I'm gonna be doing some more gangsters, which is probably gonna be my main training method, how to get 69 base in my melee stats. Yeah, let's do that right away. That shouldn't take too long. I've done like plenty in the previous skilling rounds. So like, yeah, a couple of hours and I should be done. All right, training manuals, this will be Level 69 in attack, strength, and defense. There we go. Also a combat level up. Nice. Now I'm not going to be stopping here because I currently have 700,000 hit point experience and this is only 670. So let's keep going and let's get everything to 700k. Shouldn't take too long, maybe like one or two more trips. Alright, that is 700k attack and defense, now I just have 25,000 strength XP to go, but I think I'm not gonna be doing that via gangsters. First I got crashed like twice, so I don't really feel like doing it anymore, and since I have 100% favor in all the 5 houses, I might as well just complete the architectural, uh, architectural alliance, because I want to get all my stats to 700k XP, Slayer is slightly behind, so let's put this on Slayer. It's a bit closer to 700k now, and then the final 9k XP I can do that with the remainder 25,000 strength experience. But first let's get that 350 mining experience that I still need to do for 69 mining. I've done like the entire mining level at mining sulfur for that stupid Lovakin's house. Wait, I'm an idiot. I still need to do this to 700k XP, that's 32 more to go. So I do need to make my trip to the model load mine. Yay! Purple! Yeah, my story therefore. In tablet? Yeah. Alright, so that was my very first ever raid. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I just got out of like six hours of Oz's library, so I really wanted a change of scenery. And then my brother popped up and asked me to join a raid once again. And this time, yeah, I was really feeling like it. As you might expect with only 4500 points. Didn't really get anything. Nice planks, nice herbs. 
HP. That's definitely needed because as of late, I don't really feel that because I feel that I get less and less herbal or experience banked. But anyway, off with the ramble. I have completed one raid, which was which was an elite diary of the current area. I am off to do yeah, two more skills basically, construction and ranged. Also want to finish up the final 7.5k Slayer. Yay, 69 ranged at the Hellhounds, and currently I am 83 kills in. I'm like two thirds, so like three fourths of the way done with the task, only got one hot clues. This is step 5, this should be the casket, very nice. Didn't get any ability steps, but I did get three Ceradomin Wizard steps. And with my current stats and gear, that fight is still a little bit scary. Hopefully it was worth it, all that hit points XP. I got a unique, I guess. And Elks, I really need a lot of money. Hopefully my cannon will not have these bonds, that wouldn't be fun. Alright, that was fun. I do have plenty of oak planks left. Soixante-neuf. Okay, thanks, bye.